Nanita is a housewife and a mother of two. Aside from taking care of her children and keeping the house, her two businesses, a small Sari Sari store and manufacturing garments, keep her busy all day. Nanita put up her Sari Sari store and started accepting sewing jobs three years ago to add to the family's income. Thanks to loans from the local rural bank, Nanita has managed to grow her two businesses. Nanita used to make weekly trips to her bank's branch to pay her loan amortization. Every Wednesday, after her household chores, she would leave her store to her helper. She then took a 15-minute jeepney ride to the bank, where she spent another 30 minutes completing her transaction. Not anymore. A whole new way of banking now allows Nanita to pay her loans amortizations using her mobile phone without leaving her home and business. With the introduction of Text a Payment, one of the new mobile phone banking applications developed by the Micro Enterprise Access to Banking Services or MABS program, all Nanita needs to do is take out her phone and key in instructions via text to transfer electronic money value, GCash, to the rural bank. The bank receives the Nita's text message and processes her weekly loan payment. The bank then replies to Nanita with a confirmation message which acts as a receipt and confirms that her weekly amortization has been paid. Within seconds, the transaction is completed. For Nanita, this means more time for herself, her family, and her businesses. In 2004, the United States Agency for International Development Supported MAPS program led an initiative to develop new mobile phone banking applications. These new services aim to give microfinance clients of rural banks a new, more convenient and secure and less costly way to bank by using their mobile phones. The new mobile phone banking applications use GCash, Globe Telecom's electronic money platform that turns mobile phones into virtual mobile wallets. With a partnership between rural banks and Globe Telecom's mobile commerce subsidiary G-Exchange, GCash can now be used to repay microloans, send and receive remittances, and make deposits and withdrawals. To start using GCash and the other mobile phone banking applications using GCash, Globe Telecom subscribers only need to download the GCash menu to their mobile phones and register via text. By registering their SIMs, they create their own virtual wallets. A subscriber's GCash wallet is protected by a unique mobile personal identification number or M-PIN. After registering, a GCash subscriber can cash in or convert money to GCash. By cashing in, virtual money or GCash is loaded into a mobile wallet. GCash can then be transferred from phone to phone, used to pay for goods, services, and bills, and converted to prepaid load. By cashing out, clients take out virtual money, GCash, from their mobile wallets and convert it to cash. There are 8,900 accredited GCash cash-in, cash-out locations nationwide. After her account officer told Nanita about text payment, she immediately enrolled in the service. After registering as a GCash user, Nanita completes the following procedures. She completes a text a payment enrollment form and reviews and agrees to the terms and conditions. The enrollment form gathers basic client information and is used by the bank to record the client's mobile number. She saves the bank's branch mobile phone number into her SIM registry. It is important that Anita save the bank's branch mobile phone number since this is the number she will use along with the GCash menu to send her payments to the bank. She also receives a copy of the enrollment form. Once a client has downloaded the GCash menu, registered her mobile phone, and enrolled for text a payment, she can now make loan repayments using the service. Nanita proceeds to a local GCash cash-in outlet to load GCash to her mobile wallet. She gives them her phone number, shows her ID, gives the cash-in outlet the money she wants to convert to GCash, plus any service fee. She receives GCash, which is sent to her phone. Nanita is now ready to make her first Texa payment transaction. To make a Texa payment transaction, Nanita selects Globe Services Plus on her cell phone menu. 
scrolls down to GCash menu and follows these procedures. Scrolls down and selects Send GCash. Enters her personal four-digit M-PIN and clicks OK. Upon entering the M-PIN, note the numbers do not appear since they are masked as asterisks for security. Enters the 11-digit mobile phone number of the bank branch and clicks OK. She then enters the amount of GCash value or the loan amortization amount. Keys in the loan payment instructions. L pay, colon, borrower's name, space, loan account number. Clicks OK. Nanita is charged only one peso for the text message sent. Nanita waits for the confirmation message confirming that her payment has been sent to the bank. The confirmation message has a unique reference number and serves as her receipt that the loan payment has been made to her rural bank branch. As proof of payment, Nanita saves a trace or reference number. Within minutes and without leaving her house, Nanita completes her loan payment. Text the payment completes a virtual transaction, transporting Nanita all the way to her bank branch in seconds. With her morning tasks done and her amortization for the week paid, Nanita has three more hours before her children arrive from school. Enough time to start sketching designs for the new bag orders that just came in this week. Rural banks are now offering mobile phone banking and mobile commerce solutions so that their clients can now send money, make money, and save money by using their mobile phones. It puts a whole new meaning to SMS.